Hello, hello, welcome to Quackalope, thank you for being here. We're diving into a gameplay of Marvel Zombies where we twist the core concept of Zombicide on its head, and this time you're using the power of the Zombicide heroes, or the zombie heroes, in the game mode to slowly devour and conquer your opponents, the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and of course, the uh, variable different recognizable citizens that pop up along the way. This was a absolute blast, and I'm so excited to be bringing you this gameplay and more down the road. So, with that being said, I'm not going to hold you too long. I want to take a moment to go ahead and thank Spin Master and Simon for making this gameplay possible, and of course, Marvel for collaborating with us all along the way. And with that, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss all the other Marvel zombie news, and let's get this gameplay started. Welcome to Quackalope, thank you for being here. Today we are swinging into a gameplay of Marvel Zombies, or Marvel Zombicide, if you want to go classic and traditional with the name. This is going to be a scenario where we, well, play as zombies, as hero zombies, ravenously ripping through a city and devouring civilians along the way, which seems like the opposite of all the Zombicide games that I know of and have played. And to blame for that, we actually have the designer here with us, guiding our hand and making sure that we come out victorious. Michael, nice to have you here. Thanks, Jesse. I just want to get one thing out of the way immediately. You guys are in charge of your own destiny here, and whatever happens is fully in your responsibility. I take no credit or blame, <laughs> more importantly blame, uh, for anything that happens. Perfect. That's not concerning at all. Devin Norris, nice to have you on the stream, my friend. Hello, hello. I'm here at Zombified Captain America to see what I can do with my vibranium shield and my insatiable lust for human flesh. I absolutely love it. That is our uh, lead writer here at the Fackle Team and Alex Sender Radcliffe, Board Game Co. But we'll indoctrinate you into Quackle for now. Well, if Black Plague has taught me anything, it's that the zombies always win, so we should be fine. We should it's kind of cute that we're together. It's sort of it's sort of like a Quack and Co thing, right? Yeah, yeah. But no one knows unless you search for it, so. That's fair. Shira, nice to have you. It's nice to be here. I'm playing as the Wasp, and I cannot wait to buzz around and sting some things. You might be the most enthusiastic zombie fan I know of. Despite oh, the fact I am that you never so win, psyched about this. Constantly lose, constantly no, lose. No, I have one. I ha I believe I have one. A game. Okay. Okay. A game sounds like a strong contender. Oh, All right. I've played like so many, and yeah, A game <laughs> is the contender here. Monsieur, Monsieur Michael, could you please give us a run through of what we are doing here? And we are not going to walk people through what Zombicide is, but instead, let's give a breakdown of what is new here in this property. What are, what are we actually doing? So first off, by the time this launches, I'm sure people will have access to the Kickstarter, which should have our rule book and all of our rules, things in there. So we're going to we assume actually, that people... Actually, this video might be up a few days before the Kickstarter launches. Oh, Ooh, well, just so you know, saucy. just so you know, in terms of mm -hmm. timelines, mm -hmm. in terms of timelines, I think we're trying to get approval before the Kickstarter's up. All right, um, let me change. Uh, let me change my tone here a little bit to talk about like <laughs> the full run through. Okay, so what do we have here? This is Marvel Zombies, a zombie side game. Let's get into some of the fundamental changes here that what separates this from the other zombie side games. First off, the most you know obvious, you are playing as the zombie superheroes and not as the heroes. Therefore, your change. motivations have changed around a little bit. You're no longer trying to go and rescue individuals and save them. You are trying to devour them and fulfill your own insatiable hunger for human flesh. For anyone who needs a crash course in the Marvel Zombies universe, it's been around since 2005, 16 years at this point, tons of different things to go check out. I will leave that for people to discover. Talking about gameplay mechanics here though, um, a lot of the similar features from Zombie Side that you are familiar with are going to return. The biggest key differences here are the enemies have changed from being zombies to agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. We have troopers, we have guards, we have specialists, and a whole plethora of uh, non-zombified superheroes that'll be showing up to stop you guys. As you guys are playing through the game, you guys are going to be, like, just in standard zombie side, unlocking abilities, getting stronger, getting more abilities and powers. But here as well, you're going to have to be competing with your hunger the entire time as well. If it gets too high, you're going to become ravenous. And then it's going to completely overtake you and you're going to be limited in what you can do and what actions you can do. So let's go over some of the scenario here. 
This one here, I would consider a very basic scenario. I'm not going to say it's on the easier side for you guys, because I, you know, in case anything terrible happens, I don't want to say like, oh yeah, they lost in the easiest scenario. But, uh, <laughs> no, you certainly wouldn't want to say that. Yeah, appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep. For the viewers at home, this is one of the most basic, easy scenarios. So if they die, it's completely <laughs> on them. Anyway. <laughs> This one here is meant to encapsulate exactly what it means to be a zombie superhero. There are uh, bystanders spread across the, the map here. Your job is to find and devour at least five of them. There are technically six, but they might be trying to escape and some might get away. So, you know, you don't have to get them all, but you have to devour at least five and then everyone needs to make it to the exit. So basically this is like a supplier, you know, a snack run, right? Yeah, just stocking up. Yeah, just sprint down to the local grocery store, grab a few pieces of human flesh, and then make it back home. Seems, num, sounds, num, 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 uh, num, num, num. sounds reasonable. So, uh, do we want to go over who we're playing and maybe highlight one of their abilities or two, and then get started with this gameplay? So, I'll start off. I'll start off. I'm Captain America. Uh, I have a vibranium shield melee attack that uh, I'm excited to use. I have the standard devour. Um, function, which the greater my hunger gets, the more I'm going to be ready to nom nom on some little shield people. I start off with a basic shield block ability, and then after I get an action, I'll start to get some more exciting stuff, like a ricochet move, and then I will become the undead leader at the end of the game if I'm able to level up enough, and ooh, I think I'm going to be able to do free actions at that point, which is going to be pretty darn cool. As we get to red, the... we have a much different problem. <laughs> Oh, no, that doesn't sound like a problem at all. Uh, coming from the least experienced Zombicide player, we're going to win without a problem. Hmm. Shira. I am playing as the Wasp. So my special attack is I have a Wasp Sting. I am starting out with a diminutive size. I can ignore the target priority. And I also am trying to monitor my hunger. And I just have to say that our work is fantastic. I keep highlighting over these cards, and they're so detailed. Yeah, they're fantastic. This and makes then, you Alex, so happy. You're I'll playing be... as two characters because I am going to be playing as the humble cameraman doing his best to neither consume human flesh or screw up this recording. I want everyone to have as good of an experience as possible. And with that being the note, make sure you're subscribed down below if you're watching this because gameplay number two, which is actually going to change a few things, is coming soon. It might be a little bit more advanced than this one. We'll have to wait and see. Alex, who are you playing? I'm tackling Iron Man and Hulk. Iron Man's going to be kind of essential with his repulsive blast. He's going to be able to shoot people out of his zone, just knocking, knocking, I was going to say knocking zombies, but I guess that's not the case anymore. Knocking non-zombies, shield agents out of his zone, which will give us a little bit of space to breathe when we need to uh, escape so we can go chop on another meal. Bushy human meat sacks. And he then there's- totally playing the heroes. And then there's Hulk. <laughs> And then there's Hulk. Hulk is going to have a few abilities, but the starting ability is going to start with him basically taking down the enemy's toughness, which is going to have an easier time taking down those brutes as well as the heroes. And then additionally, and surprisingly, he likes having buddies with him and will have to re-roll dice when he does. Nice. Yeah, I've always known that about Hulk. He does love having ah. friends. So, Alex, oh, just to clarify there, that says if there are any superheroes in your zone, as in enemy oh, abominations uh, i can't get out of my head because I can't get out of my head. his strongest one there is how dare you challenge him that makes more sense <laughs> See, I get, i'm like a superhero in your zone that's my buddy i mean yeah it's my if friend you activate yeah. quinjet you should know he's the strongest my, avenger my very very delicious friend shall we start <laughs> let's start let's do this all right michael how do we how do we swing things off all right, so the start of every round, everyone's hunger is going to increase by one on your track. And then unlike standard zombie side, you guys get to choose your activation order every single round, as noted by those activation tokens right below your character dashboards. So that's not a set thing. You can go uh, in any order you want any round based on what is tactically sound. Which is awesome. I love that little bit of uh, grace you handed to the players. As Do we want to also walk around scale. as a group? The difficulty. I'm just, oh, I'm no, so sure. excited. I want to dive in. Should we just all go in separate areas and handle different well, people? Okay, can I go yeah, first then? Because go, 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 go. Just move. Just start moving. Go. Go. Are split up the group, right? Isn't that the one, two? Where, okay. where's the spawn points? I here, yeah, here. Okay, right. I see. Yeah, yeah they're that's gonna that's be that's the giant red exclamation mark. I will continue moving away. So a move action. Sure, you're also is... playing wasp, correct? Which is yellow. 
I'm so, yes, thank you. I'm so used to moving <laughs> blue. Uh, thank you, Hulk. All right, so move two, which is a standard move action. And then I would like so to moving, search for a... Tr- hmm? So moving one space is one action. One space? Yeah, one space per action. Gotcha. And how many... Okay, so moving one and space is an action. Three actions. Is there an action tracker? Nope. They took that off? Okay. Um, all right, so one, two, and then can I search for a trait? You can absolutely tap into your zombie traits. Let's see what you get. Opportunist. Discard, Discard before attacking. Before attacking. In- increase right. my hunger. The attack gains one accuracy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nice. That's very useful for Wasp as it turns your 3 plus to hit into a 2 plus. Nice. And then, Fantastic. Michael, you did say that uh, as our hunger increases, it adds dice to our attacks, right? Yes, so your hunger is your attacks, all of them are going to gain additional bonus dice equal to your current hunger. Oh. So the so hungrier cool. you are, the better, but you need to be able to control it right on the edge of desperation. Yeah. All right. Uh, Alex, where do you want to move your guys? Because it has, is actually beneficial for Captain America to be with people so that I can hopefully block wounds. Mm, I uh, hear you. Well, then you should probably stick around with Wasp, I would say, because a Hulk's pretty powerful on his own and. and... Um, I don't okay. know, actually. Yeah, sorry. Uh, you know what? No, let's uh, let me buddy up with both of you. So I'll go ahead and take an action, and then you can go ahead. Uh, let's just get some people moving. I yeah, want to move into it. this zone over here. Can you just park Hulk outside of one of the spawn points just to sit there and smash people? Yeah, that's a good idea. We're going to go one, two, and then level up, uh, grab a trait, similar to what Shira did. But uh, you know what? We're actually going to grab a trait first because I've played this game, and I know how these things work. <laughs> so we're going to grab a trait as our first action. <laughs> Hunger sprint. Discard when moving. Increase hunger by any amount. Move that many Whoa. different zones. That's I'm going to go ahead and move one, two, and stand over there. You could immediately turn. discard that card, increase your hunger, I could. and be ready I could. for whoever shows up. I could. Alrighty, I'm, I'm going, going to, to also search for a trait in my spot with Captain America. Um, let's see what I get. Frenzy. <laughs> Frenzy. Discard during turn and increase hunger. Perform one free attack action. I am okay with that. I am actually... Shira, I feel that Wasp is safer right now because they're not near spawn zone. So I'm actually going to move right here to help with Hulk uh, next to that spawn zone. And then that uh, search plus those two moves should be my three actions. So we're up to Iron Man now. Cool, cool. Iron Man will do the only reasonable thing and completely abandon all other people to go <laughs> off on his own. Mm, seems okay. sensible. Uh, we're going to go and get a trait first, though. like playing. Yeah, everyone's starting here. with a trait. And we have feed. <laughs> discard when devouring. This devour may eliminate multiple enemies. Ooh. Discard when devouring. This devour may Whoa, eliminate multiple that's enemies. That's cool. Nice. How that's many a really good. Well, however many you hit. Usually devour is only a single enemy will be taken down. Oh, no matter what. Okay, so gosh, as many so hits as you get damage. is as many that you could get. Yep. But I mean, if So it functions just like a standard attack. Yeah. So yeah, however okay. many hits you get, how many guys you can cool. potentially take down. So but at I a think, high hunger moment with a lot of enemies, that's a pretty good yeah. devour opportunity. We, you see, we have this little zone over here where I could go here and hope for the best and then try to get in this door before things get crazy. Let's you go also ahead have this and see. Right here. Which room? You've got a room right next to you. This one over here? Yeah, yeah but he's already at yeah, it. You have to come out of the spaces. Side. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. The door's right there. No, but I do like the idea of trying to at least be on the same side of the map. So I'm going to go one. Yeah, no, but that's where the X, that's where the, we can do the exit later. Yeah, but oh, there's no. there's still doors over here, Alex. Yeah, but but, but Alex but, is saying clear I'm, the back. Yeah, and clear then the make back. Your way uh, towards the exit. I'm, I'm gonna head up. I'm heading up one. I'm heading up two. Okay. All right, everyone is gone. This is the end of the round. Also, keep track of your activation tokens Boop. since you're double sided. And now we're going to move to our first shield spawn of the game. Let's go ahead and see what we have showing up to fight off the uh, obviously the zombie superheroes. First spawn of the game, we have an escorted bystander. Ooh. Someone special. So we so have that, a random so that, bystander. that could count as one of our five, right? It yeah. absolutely yeah. could. And this is oh, why oh. I said before that you know there were some across the mm-hmm. map there. Now, he is going to spawn with one guard. And let's okay. see who our random escorted bystander is going to be. First civilian is going to be Thunderbolt Ross. Oh, that seems I'm right. so glad we get to eat him. <laughs> so glad we get to eat him. <laughs> 
So, <laughs> explain to you how the escorted bystanders go. First off, we look at Thunder. Is that a guard is... or a boot? Boots are the second level. Which level? Yes, that is a guard, and they, the okay. brute equivalent for the standard zombie side. Thunderbolt here is a combat NPC, which means that he functions as a walker. He will attack if you're in his yep. space. Um, now, escorted bystanders function a little differently than the normal ones, uh, based on if they're combat or not. He is combat, so he is going to be coming right at you guys like during standard activations. But if he's ever not without a guard <clears throat> that's basically with him, he's going to spawn a guard. So mm. he's a little bit of an issue. But hey, it's cool. Thunderbolt and the guard showed up, bringing out the A-guns immediately. Secondary spawn point. Let's go ahead and see what we have there. We have a specialist Ooh. airdrop. <laughs> wow, get into the cool cards immediately. If drawn during the enemy phase, instead of spawning the above, spawn one specialist on top of each zombie hero. Mm. So whereas usually mm. you would have a single specialist coming out over here, instead these guys are coming in hot and heavy and just airdropping right on you guys. I so love it. So splitting up was a great idea. Ugh. Oof. Yeah. Woofy. Yeah, woof, woof, woof. Hey, idea. I mean, I think the two smart people oh, are, know, uh, are Hulk and... Uh... Oh, is it, is it two of No, it two needs to be two because it's, it's there's two of us there. Oh. Yep. Everyone's getting one. See, it wouldn't have mattered if we were in all the same yep. spot. We would That's have had four on top of we, us. We all get specialist care packages for Christmas. <laughs> oh, we got another one. And we another card. Let's go to our last spawn card here. Ah, oh, we're getting some fun ones just immediately. I love it. And a superhero is spawning oh, as well. Oh, my dear goodness. Oh, yay! Let's Remember, see who gets up. to spawn. <laughs> oh, dear oh, Lord. Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Wow. Yeah. Okay. You guys, you guys so. know before we started when Michael was shuffling continuously these decks, I think he was searching through them and didn't like what he found until he oh, so settled shuffle, on this one. The shuffle animation was really just him riffling through to it's find It's just what he him likes. going through and be like, ah, oh, this will kill them quickly. So uh, Thor uh, deals two wounds and requires five simultaneous hits to kill. So it's, you have the, that Avenger the, token that's right there. One of the changes here that you will see from standard zombie side is that when you attack a space, you have to allocate hits out in priority order, taking down the toughness of whoever is first. So, for example, if there were is there, if there was a guard in the space and then a specialist, you would have to take out the guard before you could take out the specialist. Guards require or have a toughness of two, so require two hits to be allocated from the same attack to take down. Superheroes are first in target priority because they are there to defend everyone. Thor, by the way, is the toughest one coming in at toughness five, which means that it needs to be five hits from the same attack to take him down. <laughs> also, his attacks deal two wounds and superheroes have two actions. You're fighting a god of thunder. I don't know what to tell you. Wow. Don't be as caught that. They have two actions. All superheroes have two actions. So that was a very impressive. Attack. They can move and attack, or attack, yep. attack. Yep. yep. Dang. Oh. That was a very impressive first spawn phase, I have to say. Okay. Remember that Everyone one time? Ahead? You know, I, I'm, I'm so glad you're like, impressed with us. I feel like Michael buried the lead. He's like, guys, easy, easy mode. scenario. He's easy yeah. scenario. They're going to think they have to win. Right, go ahead and up your hunger, and then we head into the next round, flip your action token, and we get to decide who goes first. Oh, wait. Oh. Same rules as regular zombies. Have Alex. to spend an extra action to leave a zone with a zombie. Yes. With not a yes. zombie, with a. Per zombie. You know, it is, you know it is you one extra do, action Alex? to leave a zone per enemy. Per enemy. Okay. Alex, you could combo your Hulk's hunger sprint to increase your hunger, get close to uh, Thor, and then do a big hunger Ooh. devour attack on him. That'd be fun. That is intriguing. Let's see. My action lowers his toughness. And I can reroll my dice against him, but he's pretty far away right now. He's I know, one, two, but you three, get, four, five. You get three actions, so you could increase. You could move twice, increase it by three to get to him. That bumps you up to. Four. I like the concept, but I'm gonna give it a little. I'm gonna let him close the gap. Oh, I, I'm not saying maybe this turn, but you could use that to get well, a yeah, high let hunger. Let him kill Iron Man on the way. How about this? Uh, do you want to take out the people in my zone? Yeah. Um, so I, if you want to go first. That. Um, okay, so I like your plan. I I'm just gonna my, set myself up for next turn. I add my hunger, so I have two hunger, and I have two normal dice when I roll my vibranium shield melee attack. So that's four dice uh, that I'll be rolling at a plus three. Um, there is probably uh, something else I should mention to you guys. I think we kind of glossed over when we were doing the the tutorial. Is that if you'll see on the dice, the one is very reminiscent of your guys' hunger track. That is because when you make oh. an attack, for every one you roll, 
after the attack, your hunger is going to increase by that amount. As you get a little, you get a little ravenous, you know. When you, uh, when you say to a wound, what happens? Sorry. And if it hits, if you're at three, let's say, and you, if you have three hunger, uh, four hunger. So if you have three hunger and you go to four hunger, do you take a damage right away? No, you only take a, a damage of your or wound of your ravenous at the end of your turn. Okay. So until then, don't worry about it. So I, I feel like when you say you glossed over it, I feel like you intentionally held it back to he wouldn't, make no, us sad. No, no, I make us no, sad. Uh -uh. I'm pretty sure no. I remember explaining that, or at least thinking really hard that I needed to remember to do that. <laughs> can right, we so only I'm, devour I'm gonna roll these four dice? Can we only devour civilians, or can we devour? Oh, you can devour anything. anything. But it's a yep. single Maybe. enemy you kill. Okay. All right. It's a weak attack, yeah. I'm going to try and get two hits so I can take out these two specialists. Ooh. So I got two up. hits, got but two I hits. Increase, my, increase my hunger to three, and I get two specialist kills. Uh, so, Alex, that's one action. What do you want yep. me... Do you well, want dude. me to try to press onto Ross? First, first of all, let's give you two experience points. Let's mark it up over there, which I just did for you. Uh, there you from go. there, honestly... There you go. I just need you to clear that for me. Um, I want to go take out this specialist over this. I want to take out the bystander okay. over here. Well, I might you try to push into the space with. Can I push into the space with Ross and the guard? You can absolutely um, move in there. Yeah. You could. Yeah, because so it, how many hits will would the guard and Ross need to get both of them? So you can't kill Ross, unfortunately, with an attack. You can only devour him. The guard will take a toughness two to get past. So two hits on the same attack. Oh, but if I don't, I need to do it all in one go because if I do it again, he'll be left without a guard and spawn, he spawn a guard. Um, okay. I uh, I actually. Hmm. Why also, I would I, recommend being very no, wary I, of ending I, your turn in a spawn zone because if they have rush cards like they do in a uh, second edition, then we will be in trouble. You can get why another doesn't turn. Mean, if why doesn't? Why doesn't I, I, Devin I, go take care of this bystander in the room, and Alex, you take care of the one and the guard because over there? Because I want, I'm trying to drift towards Thor so that I can do that Devin's plan. Well, I, I have a thought, guys. Sure. My frenzied allows me to discard during turn and increase hunger, which means I get to perform a free attack action. Okay. So then, if I move in, if I move in with my second action, and then attack the guard, then I could discard that to increase my hunger to four, and then free attack action devour Ross. I like it. I like it. That seems like a solid plan. Okay, Second I'm gonna action, move walk in. in. Walk in. I'm gonna roll once again my, uh, well, now I roll five dice. Well, are you doing um, your, dis if you're discarding it, you're gonna roll an extra die because you're gonna- Well, he's doing hunger. his normal attack right now. I'm doing my normal attack first to get rid of the guard. Wait, wait, um, one second. How many, but then you, He's You've already gone. used oh. it two actions. Why not? I've, atta I've attacked, I've walked, and I was going to melee attack. And you'll then be I was rolling gonna an discard. extra dice. If you discard for your first attack, you'll be rolling an extra dice for both attacks. Okay, your hunger will have already increased. Yeah, I, I just I didn't want to try to increase my hunger before, because if I increase my hunger again, I go to four, and then I can only devour. Yeah, but that's the plan, isn't it? Oh, I was no, just gonna his, do a his plan was, his plan was to devour. His plan was to devour next turn, I think, because oh, my if, next if, you successfully, if you successfully devour, it goes down to zero. So he wants a successful devour against Ross. Yes, I, I, I went so to he devours kill the guard with vibranium the shield, point. increase to top level, then devour Ross and drop to zero. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. I'm gonna roll. Boom. Yes. Boom. Boom. So that should kill him, right, Michael? That took down the guard. They need two hits, and you actually and then got if five. I, yeah, and <laughs> so then if I, if I discard that, then I go up to four, um, and I get a devour action with five dice, and if I get how many hits on the bystander? Just one. Toughness one. Okay, so I'm going to roll these five dice, or six dice, really, but so I got Delicious. a hit. Delicious. And then that drops me to zero, which will help me avoid a wound, right? Does he get yes. one because he he rolled a mouth? No, so now the order of operations that? there is that devour after the attack will lower your hunger down, doesn't matter what's at. So let's say, you know, it you rolled five ones and then a hit, 
It doesn't matter. You cap out at four, it drops it back down to zero. So was, okay, that, cool. was that a pretty decent play there, Michael? That was a pretty good little play. I'm not going to give you any coaching stuff. I will say that for eating a bystander in this scenario, you're going to get five experience. So go ahead and track that up as well. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh-huh. And oh, as dear. noted, you uh-huh. the Thunderbolt Ross's bystander ability here. So once during your turn, you may increase your hunger to push all enemies in your zone into a zone within range one and line of sight. Oh, well, then I could push all of them into the space if Alex leaves. Oh wait, no, but they're not gonna they're not gonna be there until so, the turns over. So for the audience that didn't see what we were all chuckling about, we just with one character successfully crossed into stage two. Yes. I, I think I news. I think I yeah, that's that's really good. Um I Strategically you're getting all the special abilities. But you also uh, gain an extra action, so you oh, can I get move an out of that action. spawn zone. Oh wait, can I use that right away? Exactly. Yeah, you yep. should you should leave that spawn zone. Yeah, I'm I would come not here. recommend staying there. Because this is about to become a bigger problem than you realize. Interesting. Oh. So once that's happening, I'm realizing I'll need an action to open the door and walk in and take out. So I'm gonna leave the spawn zone alone. And I think I'm gonna prep. I'm gonna bring the mm. dice just over here to the edge. I think through because I like the idea of, of getting down there, but maybe not. Oh. You know what? Let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and open the door. So we're gonna go ahead and take an action to open the door. Yes. I love right. doors let's, opening. Let's see the bystander that waits inside. It is Wong. Ooh. And let's see what is spawning inside with Wong. He's also an We're, aggressor. Yes. And we are in yellow, so, well, things have escalated a bit. Let's see what we got. Oh, that we have right. a trooper rush. Five yes. troopers are spawning yeah. and activating. Uh, but they're um, walking out into my zone, aren't they? So yes, they yeah. are spawning and then taking an action to immediately walk out. Seems like a done so, move on their part. I, I mean, so I lucky. know that we, I know that I could have. I think Alex did made the mistake here. I mean, I'm just saying. No, no, it's all Wait, good. It's opening all good. the door. Hey, hey, we are good. We he are. Oh, Hulk, Hulk smash! Okay. Hulk smash! So Hulk currently has two two default attacks. So he's going to roll four dice on a four plus for a second action to go ahead and take out some baddies. For a second action, we're going to go ahead and put these in the center over here. I'm going to go with a roll, and we're going to go ahead and go. Okay. Beautiful. Nice. Three hits. Okay. And, and now increase your. I increase my hunger, not at all. No, not, not your all. hunger. You um, increase you your experience. Three. Three. Yeah, experience. Experience points. Yeah. So and then I'm going to repeat the same action because I think that makes the most sense. Alternatively, I could devour one to lower my hunger, which has a tactical reason to consider that, but I don't think I will. I think I'm going to go ahead and just attack him again. When you're going to get two ones. Yeah, let's not that's... talk about it, Shira. Boom. Nope. <laughs> two more dead. Okay. Up to five. It would have been yeah. nice if you had gotten into yellow. But we uh, we bravely yeah, commend but... those shield troopers that ran out and got just smashed by Hulk. <laughs> now, at what point does Wong generate a new uh, defender? <laughs> he does not, because he was not an escorted bystander. He is just a standard uh... bystander. He's a combat one, so he is spinning. He is basically a trooper. He is moving toward you and attacking. Gotcha. Okay, that and, was Hulk's yeah. turn. Over to you. And we, um, and we have a chance, Alex, that if he rolls a wound, there's a chance I'll be able to prevent it with my shield block. Yep. All right. Sure to you. Should I dare open a door? Oh, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, why not? Okay. Well, keep and... on. You have a runner in your zone. You have a runner in your zone. Oh, I do. Thank you. I will attack the runner. So with my wasp. Specialist, thank you very much. Specialist. <laughs> <laughs> Specialist in my zone. I will attack with a wasp sting. So I have two dice plus my two for being hungry. So I will be rolling four dice. This in the center. Oh, there you go. Nice. Got him. Clean. I got your experience point. Oh, you got Thank you. Um, let me open the door with one action after that. So yeah, sure. Door opens. All right, let's see what bystanders waiting inside. We have Betty Ross. Betty Ross. It's a very, like, hey, kind Betty. of Hulk, Hulk focused like, cast father? here. It is. You did. And then let's see who is spawning with her. We have a superhero. Oh, dear Oh. Oh, my gosh. Yes. We have oh, Doctor dear. Strange. Oh. Fantastic. He acts as a spawn point. Acts as a spawn point? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> At least he only oh. has three health. Yes, okay. but now we're spawning extra zombies. What a cool extra, ability, though. Extra shield agents. This is going to take forever. Um. Okay. I uh, don't want to move anywhere. 
anymore. I oh, can I research? I'm gonna search for another trait. Go for it. That seems like a good idea. Stay where I am. Lunge. Lunge. I Michael, forgot there could be you, traps in this deck. Michael, really does non combat. Do non combat bystanders move? Yes, they are going to attempt to move toward exits and escape the map. Okay. Good. And is there only one exit on here? Oh, no, sorry, they move towards spawn points, I should state. Oh, uh, spawn so points here, are where they can spawn here. out. Yes. Cool. Wait, wait, wait. Bystanders are Does trying that, to get to the spawn points? That doesn't count as Doctor Strange, though. No. Okay. Doctor Strange is just porting in more guys with his sling ring every single time he activates. That's it. Minor. Yeah, that sounds fine. All right, I've gone. Did okay. It. Okay. I think we have Iron, Iron Man, Man facing down Thor. Iron Man. Iron Man. All right. Well, Iron Man is going to start with a sh uh, blast against. Um, actually, interesting. Can Iron Man open a door with it while there's a shield agent in the zone? He could. Yes. Hmm. So this is an interesting decision point. Do you want to try to create more enemies door, to be more efficient? Um, sort of. That's why I, I kind of want to open this door here while we can. So, because I'm going to open the door, then I'll zombie, then I'll blast to backtrack. Yeah, I'm gonna I don't know who's going to come with that person. I understand, but be... they spawn, they spawn everyone back. So even if they rush, I'm fine. And honestly, it's not, I'm not worried about it. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> honestly, I'm okay. not that worried. Our bystander we have in here <laughs> is Aunt May. Oh, oh. the wrestling ring. Aunt May. Oh, she's going to taste th so like well seasoned. Uh, the meat's going to be a bit stringy. <laughs> And for our okay. spawn in there, we have showing up uh, two specialists. Okay. Alex, okay. she's really going to be like dry aged. <laughs> yeah. And now what Poor I'll go Iron ahead and Man. do is once doing Iron turn, Man actually is ranged as well. You know that, yes. right? Yep. But I'm, I'm going to go ahead and attack the zombie, the, the shield agent in my zone, um, rolling so three dice. The oh, specialist. No. Rolling. Uh, oh, or I could devour. I could devour. I have two actions left. I could devour and move one. That's not good enough. No, I think I'm going to backtrack entirely. So I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, oh, this is this is another door to my other side. <laughs> oh, but that one has two. That one has and, two. And they're also... The one is closer to you, the spawn point for... Hmm. I like the idea of opening this door while we still can before things like heat up. I'm going to open that door. <laughs> Alex is just spawning it. This is how we lose every single oh game Shira? because he oh, opens Shira. doors. Hydra bomb. Oh, Hydra bomb. bomb! Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. And for our spawn spawns, cards? we have the first one nearest the door. We have in there a superhero. Okay, fine. I made a mistake. And it oh, is Spider Man. <laughs> Told who you. Spawns in the zone, the closest zone with a zombie hero. Oh, he felt oh. protective about. Uh, but what's it called? Yeah, he felt protective. On so he is spawning here instead of that room, and then this room right here. We have spawning in here. Whoops. Ah, sorry. That's supposed to be that top card there. Yeah. We have a guard rush. Two guards guard are spawning rush. and then activating. Which means they're going to end up over here. Okay. This door over here is still closed, correct? This is, yes. This is all so, going perfectly according to plan. The Hydrobomb has it? to get out. Is it, Alex? Yes, it is. Because watch. Now for my third action, I'm then going to go ahead and I'm going to be rolling... I believe five dice on a four plus against the what's it called? Ooh, I could. Uh, ooh, it's not going to be against the agent. I think anymore. you have to target Spider Man. To target has Spider -Man. to go against Spider Man. I'm okay with that. So five dice well, on a four plus. Technically, you're attacking for just sake of clarity. You're attacking the zone and then allocating out hits. They just have yep. to be allocated to Spider Man first. Yep. And he needs four hits, otherwise he oh. doesn't die. I know, but Correct. I don't need to kill him. I don't need to kill him. That's the, that's the trick. I just want to say that so far we've created a visual story of Tony Stark, zombie, was going to eat Aunt May, and Spider-Man just swung in to save the day and is now getting blasted back by a ravenous Tony Stark. And let's not forget the fact that Tony Stark thinks he can handle everything himself. Let, okay, <laughs> let, let's also not forget the fact that uh, General Ross came to confront Hulk, and then okay. uh, his daughter so, decided to spawn and find out what was happening to her dad. Who got see, we're basically work. writing a comic book here, right? So I mean, we're writing problem. a comic book. I did get two hunger. That part was not planned for. So um, two hunger, but then I get to push the zombies. Oh, one second. I get to yeah, push zombies in that zone into an adjacent zone. Oh, okay. We may have a problem because I, I made a, I made a <laughs> One second. Minor we technical may, detail? We may have a problem because I failed to kill the superhero. No, spawn because the superhero. <laughs> I, I need to timestamp. 
I'm not worried about it. And then like 40 <laughs> seconds later, we may have a problem. Have a problem. Well, because I made a tactical error on one thing. Oh, oh we, all we all recognize that. We all recognize that. What did you... For some reason, right. it's completely my bad. For some reason, I thought I was going to end up in this zone. No. One further away. No, you're about to be mobbed. You don't have any oh, no. more actions. How are you to going to get there? I, I counted wrong. You know, the superheroes <gasps> each take two actions. You're going to be attacked I know. by both. That part I was fine. I just thought I was ending up here. I counted wrong. Well, I that know, you know, you know what you should have done, Alex? You know what you should have done is you should have tried to do a devour action with your feed and eat both Spider-Man and the Specialist. Mm, devours, I don't think, work on... I don't know how Devour works. You still need more, too, many, too many hits. No, Either you way. could have you could have allocated that out like that, but it is now the end of the player's turn. It is now going to the zombies phase. So oh, first off, everything's goodness. moving. Spider Man. Not the zombies Thor. phase. The enemies phase. All right. See now you guys I'm have. I'm pretty sure I just yet. died. Right now. <laughs> now you guys have you doing it. The heroes have, will take their turn. We have the combination here of Spider Man feeling very bad. I'm sorry, Mr. Stark, Thor, and then this random specialist coming up and moving and dealing you three wounds. But luckily, yeah. as a zombie, you're a little more resilient than standard. You got five. Hmm. Oh, okay, so these are moving in. These but doesn't, specialists are then doesn't he take in. a wound for ending his turn ravenous? Yes. Oh, thank you for mentioning that. So yes, little, it's a little rough for Iron Man, but you know he's 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 got it. Uh, Hydra Bob and Outmay are going to try to start moving out to the streets here. He's like, oh my dear, I don't like violence. And Hydra Bob's like, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Moving here, Betty uh, Ross is going to attempt to start moving uh, out of this building here. Wong is moving up here to engage. And now we're going to the spawns around the map. So, does Dr. Strange not move? Spawn point. Oh, sorry. Yes, correct. He does move two spaces. Uh, when he activates, though, he do he is a mobile spawn point. Fabulous. So, what, does he move and then spawn stuff happens? He is going to move and then he is going to spawn. Yes. Good. Um, this is. He's <clears throat> going to move over here. And now we're going to go around spawning the table here. So, this first is spawn point. Fine. This is gonna be a really Spine. short, be three a short guards. playthrough. Very short. Three guys. Okay. I have faith in you guys to bounce back from this. Just maybe don't listen to Mr. Stark so much. <laughs> uh, going over here to He's Doctor a little Strange. Potty. Doctor this Strange is, is spawning <laughs> troopers. Open oh. fire. Oh, All troopers no. perform one sidearm attack, targeting only zombie heroes. So oh, this is a goodness. cool special card. This... Any troopers that would be in play, which you guys have unfortunately eaten them all. Yep. But they would actually unload their firearms from one space away, hitting on a 5+. plus. Nice. So, Thank goodness. Basically, yeah, Doctor Strange ready. opens up his little portal to get a bunch of firearms to shoot out, and no one responds. Shame. Moving on to the next spawn point. That's not a shame. That's fantastic. We have a guard rush. Guard two spawning rush. and then activating. Okay. Oh, and then goodness. for the spawn point down at the bottom, we have a superhero oh. spawning. No. Man, just joining oh, in the fray. Who do we have showing dear. up? Black Panther. <laughs> he performs oh a number gosh. of actions equal to one plus the highest danger level amongst the heroes. So plus one Whoa. to plus four. So currently you guys are in yellow. He is performing three actions anytime he activates. Oh and man, I God. I guess Avengers Tower is just down here or something because yeah, that explains why the giant A <laughs> is just there and is, why all this is there is any way to recover wounds? Oh, I mean, well before we even get there, I can push them all in my zone. I know that. So that's what does this A do again? You can, you can that throw is, it at them. You can, as an act, as an attack action in your zone, you can <clears> throw it up to two spaces away. It rolls one die for every enemy in the zone, but it does ignore superheroes. Basically, it's good for mm. quashing a big number of shield guys. Okay. Well, that's good to know, at least. Why don't you take not... your turn first? Because we might have to save your butt. Okay. You know what would so actually, actually, like... actually, before we do that, should Hulk, Hulk would do really run in there, there and then have a minus one toughness against all of them before Iron Man goes to try to clean it out a little bit? So we can, you... I mean, the order, could, we can do the same thing either way. The problem is we're going to have three abominations potentially. Three heroes. Not about... Remember, this I know, is all, I know, but, but, but all the, a wee the problem thing, now versus his. At, Alex, the, the, it, the nice thing, though, if you bring Hulk there is because you're not using Thunderclap, you would get to re-roll any dice you want because there's superheroes there. So if you rush over there with your um, Hunger Sprint card and then attack with your, you know, with your strongest trait, you know, you could potentially... Well, we all have to increase our hunger at the start of our yeah. turn. Oh, yeah. So... 
The problem is Iron Man also needs to eat this turn because if he doesn't, he's, he's going to take a wound. Hungry. Yeah, and he's so going to die. I, I he's going to die. Okay, so here, let's look this at the thing. So I, I think I want to do. Oh, is do I a think, multiple devout. I think I want to shoot these guys into this zone over here, into this A zone, because I'm going to go ahead and then, do a blast, and then when then I, you when can't I, pick it you up. Can't. You can't what do a mean? blast. You're hungry right now, aren't you? Oh, I have to devour first. But yep. if you you could do your multiple devour card though. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a multiple devour card. Let's start with that because I have to do that. Well, let's start with so that here's and the thing. from there. Right now you're rolling five dice to your devour. Yeah. The best case scenario here is you take down Thor or Spider Man because you have oh, to prioritize they have to them. Target them first. And so Spider Man has not... how many? Spider Man four. has yeah. four. So I don't so think I should it... be going first then. I think someone should be. Trying so to take... I, th I mean, I, I think Hulk needs to get over there. Yeah, probably. What does Hulk do? He, Hulk's he would be able to. But Hulk can only take out some of the big guys. Anyone else who can do things? We have Captain America who could potentially attacked a bit. Well, okay. Thor. Thor would only have four health if he gets over there, and then um, you can re-roll against Thor as well because there's a superhero in that zone. So if you can get Hulk over there, he could possibly take out Thor. And can Hulk devour first eight. to get another action and then move? Um, Hulk can devour. Because there's someone in their zone. There's a bystander in your zone right oh, now. Oh, that makes sense. So yeah, let's do that. Devour and get another action. Mm. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So Hulk's and then gonna you go can ahead. Take up, and then you can take up your hunger as much as you want to move the card. Good catch, yeah. sure. Okay. Yeah. There so Hulk's go. gonna go ahead and devour, rolling three dice on a this. four plus. Okay, first action. Oh, oh, oh dear my. lord. Oh, oh dear lord. <laughs> well, now you get to devour again. Okay, second action. Hulk's going to do the same thing. Except oh, we're going to no. two more dice this time. Gosh. That is insane. Oh, no. oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Oh, good. Well, good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Raid Wong. So five uh, experience. Hey, and, I get his, and I get his card. And you guys are You're up to 10 now. Okay. Yeah. So, may increase hunger to reroll misses. Interesting. So, I'm going to reset my this. I'm up to 10. I have two actions left. So, for my first action, I could increase my hunger. Let's do the count here to move that many additional zones. So, I can go one. I know my roof one, but I'm going to go two, three, four. So, I'm actually adding three more hunger. Just a rampaging Hulk just comes with long <laughs> bits in his teeth, just careening down. Oh, the street. You, you're all the way at four. No, no, no. It's moving that many additional zones. So, only three. Yeah. Because he moves okay. one and then he moves three additional uh, zones. Oh, so yeah. You, okay. So, you, so now you only have one action yes. left. But it's okay. It's going to get better because we're going to start by going ahead and we're going to roll two plus three, a total of five dice with multiple rerolls. Okay, and everything has less toughness. Everything here. So we're gonna uh, go ahead so and just to it. note that dice can only be uh, re-rolled once. Like re-rolled once. Yep. Oh, interesting. But you can re-roll as many as you need. Yep. Gotcha. Okay. So we're just gonna go don't ahead roll and what you did the other time. We're gonna roll, and I hit on pluses over there. So we got what's called two hits so far, so and we're gonna go ahead re and re-roll. Oh, re-roll those three. Yep. Okay. There, there we go. go. Okay. Four. You take out one superhero. You take, take out Thor. I think, I think Thor is the right target. Okay. That's going to be I five think, experience. Yeah. Okay. You, yeah, you can't. Oh, you hit on threes? You're at 15 now. No, because I, I, he has negative one toughness because when he's, uh, what's it called? Negative one toughness against uh, Hulk. Because Hulk is strongest one there is. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. So. so so, Alex, if you can hey, now you solve work... the question between Thor and Hulk. Oh, we still um, have a problem. Namely, everything else. Alex, yeah, if, Alex, if you can use Iron Man and push them into the space with the Avenger symbol, I have an extra action, so I could spend three movement to get there and then attack. Wait, so, one second. But Iron Man has uh, to when, devour. First. I know when throwing uh, when throwing the A. Does it hurt? Oh, it can, can it take out a, a it grunt? Ig it ignores superheroes for all purposes. But can it but take out a grunt? Well, it can do. So you have to allocate hits out there as usual. So like two hits against the guards, and then everything down target priority. Does it hurt okay. us zombies? No. A. No friendly fire in this, by the way, in any capacity, because you guys are still superheroes. 
and okay. and Captain America has four actions because if you can throw that A and take everything else out of that zone, then I can spend two actions to walk out and devour Billy Bob. Well, you might need to devour devour Spider Man. I can't, but I'd have to roll really well. Isn't Aunt yeah, May that, in that zone true. as well? She is. All right, so I'll go next. Then I'm going to use three of my four actions to run here to the Avenger symbol, and then I'm going to try to save um, the least tactically efficient person <laughs> on our team. Um, uh, this is—I think this is like Age of Ultron, Stark. It's—it's it's the not—it's yeah. the least smart one. Um, so, what do I roll for that, Michael? All right, so we count the enemies in the zone: one, two, three, uh, four, five, six enemies in there. One bystander that doesn't count, so six dice. Nice six dice. You Anyone roll a dice for the superhero, even though you can't target it. I'm sorry. Yes, that you're taking that out there. So one, two, three, four, five. Thank you, Shira, for pulling one die out of there. So five dice sitting on fours. <laughs> okay, I, I, I have a question. Does, I'm sorry, five dice sitting on threes. Sorry. I, I, I have a question. Uh, does does their t- toughness is that still reduced because of Hulk, or is that only for his attacks? That is only for Hulk's attacks. Bummer. You don't have Hulk strength, duh. Do you see my vibranium shield, guys? Don't mess with me. Um, oh, all yeah? Right. Let's see what you get. I got three hits and okay. one right. increase. The so superheroes are ignored, so that guard is going to take the first hit, taking two to take down. The second guard is going to take that one hit, and it's going to have no effect. That's all okay. we did. So you, um, you throw Yes, that's all you did. <laughs> Alex. Is that, is that all we did? I <laughs> found both doors on either side of me, and I hope nothing happened. Mm, I just counted wrong. I counted wrong. That's all that happened. Listen, part of his brain is gone, okay? He's not Alex, good at the math. Okay. You counted wrong, but the number in question was the difference between three and four. Oh, I understand that. <laughs> but yes. All right. Um, someone else still has a... I have a turn still. And... I don't think I don't think we have very many turns left to be honest. I mean, I you know, you have one this round. I think our total re- I think our oh, total turn amount is slowly diminished. Iron Man, do you want to take a turn and try and mess things up some more? <laughs> um, it, I guess so. I'll yeah, go ahead. You're going to have to run. Can he I, throw the so can he if, throw the A again in the same zone? Can he throw so, it on Yes. He, he, but he, no, here, here's but, also the potential he is Alex, Alex if you can get if you can try to kill Spider-Man and then get into the spot with me, my vibranium shield might be able to keep us alive. I can't get into the spot with you. I can't, can't walk out. Walk? With, I, because you can't walk out with that additional... many enemies. Exactly. Oh, are right. you saying when you open up and spawn 18 enemies that surround your body, you can't move? Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I'm so, gonna go ahead and so roll. Weird. I need five dice um, on a four plus. Um, okay, let's go ahead. I need four dice to hit a four plus. That should be doable. Oh, so close, nope. but sadly nope. not. Okay, uh, that one was action. one action. Oh, I can do it again. Okay, let's try yeah. again. Gonna have to. Let's try again. Oh, oh. oh. Yay. Yay. okay. Mr. Stark, I don't, I don't feel so good. I still think <laughs> Mr. Stark, I don't but... feel so good. Okay, uh, I go up to five four, experience points. Four experience there for okay. eating eating Mr. Parker. And that resets my uh, what's it called? Uh, from there, that was my gonna... other question. When we eat, when we take out the superheroes, do we get? Is it considered similar to an abomination and other zombies said where you would get five experience points? The experience equal to their toughness. Okay. Okay. So did someone point, else take? Who took out the other one? And did they get the experience? Hulk taking out the one. Hulk took out the one. Okay. okay. From there, I think the only viable move that makes sense at this point is another attack action to minimize the hits we get. So I'll go ahead and roll three dice on a four plus. Now let's move these two out of the way. Okay. So rolling three dice on a four plus. Are you going to use your repulsor blast action? Oh, interesting. Oh, I can do that now. To push yeah, that makes them sense. out of the way. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's go ahead and do that. Well, I can do that to clear it after, but we'll start with the roll. Okay. Good roll. Uh, boom. Three hits. So, so we'll take out one big guy and we'll take out one of these uh, specialists. Okay. And then we can shove all enemies one zone so that we're taking no hits. Okay. Well, wow. uh, I mean, except for the fact that Black Panther's going to come in with four four actions. Three. Yeah, I think I'm going to, sh- because of that, I think I'm going to shove these. Uh, Anme oh. is not an enemy. Not an enemy. Okay. How dare you try to shove that so old lady? Sure, uh, the question is sure. Sh- sh- shove them into me. 
well, shove yes. them to okay. Iron Okay, the only reason to shove them into you is if Shira's going to try to take them out. N oh, I was thinking because I mean, I have to address the, people the superhero in my zone. In your I have zone, so then you can't. Right gotcha. Now. Then I'm not going yeah, to shove them into me. Push I, could not, I could potentially not get hurt. I, no, oh, potentially, oh, yeah, the so. chances of you uh, of you not getting hurt are pretty not the bestest. Let's I, I, I don't here. think you, out of the four of us, needs to be the one giving the <laughs> probability hey, and statistics hey, hey, there. Um, hey, you can't you even know, get your head saying, in the shot. Saying, okay. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, um, I would have wanted to know <laughs> that earlier. No, wait, wait, wait but it's, lot, things guys. are better. Things are better. One second. I just got two experience, which means I have one more action. Right? I'm not no, wrong. You can uh, uh, yes, from okay. that murder, you okay. did. Yes. Oh, so in that case, though, let me definitely not shove them into the zone with. Uh, oh, the question is, okay, let's put them back for a second. I can either shove them here and try to take them out, which I think is the right move that minimizes our wounds, or I could devour Aunt May. I think I'm shoving them in here into this door. <laughs> or I could devour yep. Aunt May. Tell me, how many games do you get to say that sentence in? Not, not that many. I mean, only two. How many? Week. We've devoured how many okay. so far? Uh, We've two, devoured like. two. Yep. Okay. I'm, I'm able to one. get. Uh, I'm taking one. another repulsor blast at these two to minimize our wounds. So I'm doing another one, another, just two hits. That's all we need, two hits. Boom. Got him. Two more dead. Okay. Nice. Now who's talking smack about Iron Man? Oh, I, I think we all still are. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Okay, that is my turn. I'm done. Things are looking pretty. Okay. <laughs> It would be my just like Iron Man 2 to boast after, after Hulk and yep. Captain America yes. had you cross the battlefield Play your to role. save his sorry butt. Play to your role, okay? Okay, so I am going to use my opportunist and discard before attacking and increase my hunger once. And I am going yeah. to attack Doctor Strange with my... Do I have to devour him now? Because I'm at four? Or so you're, you're able to make the attack? And then your opportunist I'm... was increasing by one. So you're fine if you're for this attack, but afterwards you are ravenous. Okay, so I discard this. I have now four dice plus my two for the sting, and I need hits on the three plus. So two, six dice. Two plus. It's only a two plus now because of your accuracy from that. Hmm. Oh, it, thank you. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Just take one of those out and highlight all of you. And two plus. Boom, One, boom. Two, three, four. Okay. All right. Got it. Doctor Strange. Out. Is dead. That right. increased my experience as well. Does that take so me into you orange? Went, oh, you're. Uh, so I think it's only. I think you only go up the toughness of. Yes. So you you go up to four. His and toughness was. His toughness was three. So you went from one to four on your experience. Okay. Speaking of which, I think I should be down one, what's it called? So that was no. yeah. my first action. My second action is I'm going to move over here and then try and devour. And so I roll five dice to devour. Five dice, you just need one success. By the way, okay. zombie, zombie Wasp is like one of the coolest zombie characters. She like transports into little tiny fly-like things and then still infects you by biting or burrowing through your body or brain. It's One hit. Terrifying. Okay. And amazing. Got it. I... Five experience and a uh, Betty Ross bystander card for you. So you may the only increase person we hunger need to get when a bystander is Iron Man. Is this no, no, door you, over? You still need to do five, even though there's only four characters. Is there oh, a door yeah, yeah, here? Yeah. And is it five. open or closed? There's it's a closed. door there. It is open. Or, sorry, it is closed. It is closed. So I, with my Betsy Ross, I can increase my hunger. First of all, my hunger came down because I did devour. I can increase my hunger once to, because now I have that killing, take, devouring the bystander gave me five experience points, which gives me another action. Okay, I can so spend not. a hunger to move to and come help you guys. Because Iron Man seems to muck things up. Yeah, if you want. Iron Man really can brought the team together. Or I, I can open the, the door. Together. Should I open the door? You the... could, but then they're going to walk into your zone. Um, actually, then they're going to split. One will walk into your zone, one will walk into a Captain America zone. Which is better, moving two spots and ending up over here or opening this door, because I have one more action. You know, Team while you're there, Iron Man. you know, while we're on that side of the map, why don't we just or, open as many doors as possible? Or just grab a trade. I mean, 
Well, what's my other trait? Um, discard during turn, increase hunger, move up to the one zone and ignoring enemies, and then perform one free devour. It's interesting. All right. Yeah, let me get a trait. Trait with my last one. Okay. Ooh. Taunt. Discard during turn, target one zone in a range of two. All enemies in that zone activate and attempt to run to yourself. Oh, like how funny would it have been if after I said draw a trait, she had drawn an ambush as her last action? <laughs> yes, that would have been hilarious. Oh, you, you know what's there. funny? You know what's funny is uh, Alex did the taunt trait without ever getting it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just opened up every zone and Listen, said, hey, Colson wasn't here to die to bring the team together. I had to do something. I had to do something. Okay, All right. We're moving to the zombie phase. So everything's moving up. So these guys here are actually splitting because there's one, two, three, four to Captain America and one, two, three, four to Wasp. So you'll decide which, uh, basically those three, which now, direction the extra one's going. Technically, and you tell me if I'm wrong here, since they can also go one, two, three, four here, wouldn't two move here? Well, it's the same distance either way. So they're going to split in some way. I'm just saying you guys get to pick whichever way they're splitting. Uh, can you take those two? Because I feel like uh, I'm dealing with some of Alex's uh, mess, Shira. So if you can take <laughs> will, those two. Uh, yes, the I bystanders will are going two. to continue to try to run to exits. And then Black There's... Panther with his three actions is going. So he's moving to here and then spending two actions to attack. Uh, I attack recommend you take Hulk. the damage. You're talking you're to yourself because you're yes, playing you are for talking yourself. Hey, 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 okay? Hey, Iron Man by the way, Iron his, Man I'm almost dead. Insanity. Other version of me that was a little bit more okay. Can you take Iron the Man <laughs> is fine. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's put uh, some spawns. Spawn. So, oh, our spawn point up now? here. Whoop. We are here, wasn't it? We have here oh, dear a Lord. escorted Escorter bystander. bystander. Okay. He's showing up with two guards. Let's see who is showing up there to be guided off the map here, hopefully. We have Blind Owl. <laughs> Not a bad ability, though. Each time you would be wounded, you may increase hunger to roll one die on a three plus per vet. Nice. Is, is that the character from Deadpool? It is. Oh, three that's right, specialists. Right. All right. Three specialists over here. And then at our very fun spawn point down here, we're joining that party. We have six troopers, troopers. spawning. Six troopers. Dear you guys got that. They're nothing. Those are guards you're trying oh, to Oh, sorry, guys. Whoops. Okay. I mean, you're just trying to make things harder. I mean, I mean, you've been doing a pretty good job of that this game so far, but that's fine. <laughs> yes. yes. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I just want to point out, Iron Man's sitting at one away from death, and Hulk, who is also Sender's character, is sitting mm. at two. Hey, Shira, how much health look, do you look have? Who, who hasn't taken any wounds? The oh, hey, who are Shira, I have a you can't get five Shira. Time. He's compensating Ooh. for that silly Iron Man guy. <laughs> okay. Hey, remember um, that one Zombicide playthrough when Alex turned into two different inefficient fighters? Uh, everyone go ahead. We and need to take out two bystanders this round before raise, Alex can ruin it again. Raise your hunger. Alex, raise your hunger. You need to go back to playing uh you need to go back to playing Game of Thrones Catan and just leave In the real games to in okay. so, Vader. So, so Alex, I can, yes. with my Thunderbolt Ross, once during a turn, I can increase hunger to push all enemies in your zone and into a zone within one range in line of sight. So what I was thinking about was I was planning on, uh, for my first action, devouring Aunt May. Okay. Um, and but keep in mind, you can't, you can't devour with the guards there. You have to target yeah. priority. Okay. Well, then, the yeah, I knew that, Michael. I was just testing your knowledge. Um Ah, thanks, uh, thanks buddy. Hmm. <laughs> um, if you I, want, what's it called? I can shove those people out with Iron Man's Repulsor Blast. Why don't you do that then? So that so you do that, and then that will allow me to devour Aunt May, and then I could come in there and uh, shield uh, or Thunderbolt Ross uh, people into the where those six. Uh, okay, so are. so here's what I'm thinking, and tell me if I'm tell me if I'm wrong here, because Iron Man's been a little uh, headstrong. <laughs> I would like I have four actions. I would like to attack those troopers and shove them back a zone. Then I'd like to devour Billy Bob. His name's not Billy Bob. His name's uh, Hydra Bob. You can't do uh, that with a hero there. Is who's the, oh oh fine then Hulk has to go you, first. You, Hulk has you to got a minor here. Black Panther. Hulk has to take out Black Panther. Hulk has reroll and a whole bunch of uh, strength. 
All right, so go for go for that. Now, Hulk currently is at max hunger, so Hulk has to go for a devour, right? That's correct. Okay, so fine. So we're going to start with a devour action. Um, oh, I forgot to discard my card, by the way, this, uh, look, this card over here. Okay, so Hulk is going to go ahead and take... The question is, if Hulk has a few actions there, uh, do I want to try... I have four actions. Do I want to try to draw a card? I can't. I can only move what it's called. So I'm going to go ahead and roll five dice as a devour action against Black Panther, who has four strength. I believe in Wakanda. Hulk, I believe. Hulk is about okay. to enter orange zone, by the way. I'm just pointing it out in case no one has noticed. I, I mean, I think it has to happen. I don't like it, but I think it has to happen. Yes, has Iron to. Man. Has I think to. it has to There happen. is no option. Should Nothing I roll else. the dice or not? Once I roll the dice, the action Go walking. for it. Go for it. Go for it. Go for okay. it. Okay, I get I get three rerolls. Typically awful I get, roll. I get rerolls. There's another hero in my another uh there's a hero in my zone, okay. Because you really don't like the Black Panther pissing you off. No. Okay, I missed in that one. So that's one miss. We're gonna try again. Uh, so Second you got time. three successes. And you have he's minus one toughness. Oh, he's minus one, he's minus yeah. one. I forgot about that. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. So he's gone. And this is, oh, to he's five. a superhero plus, He's you a get superhero plus smasher. Four, so you're four, up to nineteen. 19. There, okay. And that you means I now over? have Thunderclap. Yeah. When attacking with Smash, you may replace your base dice with one die for each enemy in the zone. Ooh, fun. Replace your base die. Okay, great. Nice. So I still have I still have three actions left. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your hunger so, goes down because you devour. Yes. Okay, my hunger goes down. I have three actions left. To be very left. specific, you devoured Black Panther. Yes. Uh, with one die for each enemy in the zone. Okay, so that's not really relevant as much. So now that I think vibranium is going to be rough on your intestines. <laughs> should you I throw the? Later. Should I throw this but his claws into the stand? Such nice toothpicks. Mm. Should I throw this into the grouping of, of soldiers here? That sounds I have three like three actions left. Or I could walk over here and just try to take all these troopers for you, so you can do a devour. No, smash the grouping of soldiers. What do you um, think, Devin? I. <laughs> If you can get rid of those guards or help me eliminate even one of them to free it up to where we can try and uh, I, I can possibly these. do both. Yeah. Well, th th both? then do whatever. Yeah, try for both. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw this boom into here. So we're going to be rolling six dice. And the Avengers A is permanently destroyed. Okay. And we have nice. one, two, three, three Four hits. hits. Now, does a... Four? It's so uh, four, four hits. Three, three plus. Hits as well. Three plus? Oh, three nice. plus okay. four. It's Hulk. So, he also has minus one, doesn't he? They have minus yeah, one toughness to a minimum of one. Yeah. And not not anymore, right? And I do increase my hunger by one, by two, though. There's no hero so threatening him. Does that push the troopers mm -hmm. fully out? What do you mean? Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't throwing that debris also push them? No, no, no. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. Oh, that's your repulsor blast. So for my third action, I'm going to walk over to you, and for my fourth action, I'm going to Hulk smash these these people here. Um, Hulk I'm smash. Rolling, rolling, what's it called? The total of two dice on a, sorry, four dice on a four plus. And you do get your thunderclap bonus. Yes. No, no, I don't. No, it's there's no super, there's no superhero in. Superheroes, yeah. We're not heroes. I'm rolling these dice. Point of attack. And. Boom! Two dead, one increased hunger. Don't they yes, have that, a you, you strength? Still oh, they have a thunder clap. Was, you don't, still don't get they have a thunder clap bonus. Oh, the thunder clap doesn't matter. There's only two of them, so it doesn't really help me. Okay. How did you take out both of them? Okay. I take out one. I take out one. I take out one. Okay. You took out both. Well, you, because your strongest one both. there is. Oh, oh, because it's mi minus one toughness. I take out both. Yeah. Do you? Oh, okay. Yeah. Fine. Okay, and that's my fourth action. Hulk's done. A uh, Captain America. Do you want to go first before Iron Man? Um, Devour no, Captain America. Uh, well, uh, Iron Man can go because he because he still needs to devour her and and, and or Hydra Bob. If and Hydra Bob you both devour, devour, we win the game, and then we have to exit. Well, we have to we have, we to, have to leave. Exit. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So I I, 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 I kind of want to see if I I feel like he needs to go first and get somewhere away from safer. Where he is, yeah. Fine, Iron Man, go. Okay. Um, I'm a little worried about these runners over here, I'll say. Because I, I, I don't know if there's extra activations for, for specialists, mm. but if there are, we're in trouble. Um, although not necessarily because Captain America is in that zone too. So we can play this out. So so we're going to go ahead and try to devour uh, uh, what's called Hydra Bob over there. That's going to allow us to have uh, two dice. It looks like two dice on a four plus. So let's go ahead and roll those two. I may be able to plus. help you out with these, with these. Let me start with these two. Okay. 
We go ahead, roll those. Two dice on a four plus. And boom, you go. he's gone. Sorry, okay. Bob. Five Increase experience your card. Card. experience. Increase my experience by five. And that's wrong that's character, thank out. you. Uh, I couldn't see her. Um, and we go to hide your Bob. You may increase your hunger to have enemies suffer negative one toughness. I like it. Okay. With melee attacks. So you've nice. only done one action, so Correct. you now have three more actions. Correct. Run like, away. So you theoretically I, could get to here. I don't think any, anyone near baddies is a good idea. Okay? I, I just don't think I should ever be I know, but I'm just saying baddies. I could I could devour and also get to here. Are you, is that your plan? I have the shield. Because we need to get to the exit, which is on over here. And I, have we done, yeah. have we done five people yet? Or we're about to do five if people? I, if, I, more. if I could devour that, that would be the fifth. So fine, so we're going to go two, three, and, and you're sure I should go four as opposed to drawing a card. I'm well, going to draw a card. Shirik, Wasp can go here. And yeah, I'm going well. to draw a card here. It's nice and safe. I'm going to draw a card, and I should not be reachable by that zone. So Captain America, do you have these oh, wait, ones before, under control? Because I'm not that person, I'm going to draw the card first before oh, I move. I, I do not okay. have them under control. So I'm drawing the card first. <laughs> Oh, come <laughs> on. Ambush. Okay. So that was... Okay. So was, action one I was love, devoured. It does, it does say that you get to draw another card, though. I know. So I'm going to go ahead and draw Very another card. Very smart move on his part being like, wait a minute. I Is know it going to be another ambush? Okay. <laughs> Just another ambush. Wow. Start Ooh, doing that made the deck. I'm not hunger. sure how he's doing this. You, sh you should do that so that you don't have a movement penalty from the trooper. Yeah, so I'm thinking. I think I should discard the lunch. Then perform a free devour action. And you you there. can just be the one to devour her, which would be helpful. Um because then I wouldn't have to do it. Because then Captain okay. America could actually target these okay. over here. Great. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna discard lunge. We're gonna move one zone. Um we're going to perform a devour action. Oh wait one second. His ha his hunger should have been reset to zero when I devoured the first time, so it only goes up by one. Um then I'm gonna perform a devour action and rolling two, two dice, dice on a four plus. Aunt May dodge. Oh. Aunt May uh, dodge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. So we have accomplished our objective, and now we all have to escape. Um. Wait. We, 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 he still has more actions left. That was. Um. He drew a card. No, he doesn't. Two more. He, He's yeah, worthless. He does. he does. He has two actions left. He, he has two actions left. Two actions. Um, can can okay. you repulsor that one away? Um. I could. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Let's go ahead and repulsor. So we'll. My my devour resets again. So I'm rolling three dice. On a oh, cost. oh my gosh! You should, you should heal a wound just in case with your Aunt May card. Do your tree make Oh yes. <laughs> okay, and discard, discard, heal one wound. That seems reasonable. Okay. Yes. Uh, he's up to two. Then I'm taking my action to go ahead and shoot the trooper. So we're rolling three dice on a four plus. Triple ones. I hit. Oh, perfect. Boom. Okay, he's gone. I go up. Uh, oh, when I devoured Aunt May, I got right. five experience points, so I go from thirteen to eighteen. Another nine. Nine. That's right. Oh, that's 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 the next oh, stage. We move We're already okay. in orange Hulk. because of yeah. Hulk. And then lastly, I'm moving to over here as my last action. I'm done. After. Captain. Oh, America. hey, wait, 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 wait. Um, you can now you can immediately you killed the trooper, so now you can you eliminated an enemy. You, you can perform a free move action. No, in order to of... get to 19, I had to kill the thing, so I got after. I only yeah, got an evasive, an evasive but, maneuver but it says says after completing any after attack. completing in any attack, you can now move for free. Okay, so you I could I end mean. up over here, but you want me to end up over here? I'm I mean, going to try and get these taken care of over here. Okay, and, and I can as long as Cap too. Okay, no, I'm worried but, about Hulk right now. Yeah, if there's an extra activation on these on these specialists, Hulk's gonna die. Captain America has a turn, doesn't he? If so, Captain America stays there. So. I, I can come down to deal with them. I'm at full health. I could try to deal with them. And um, here, I oh, I have an idea. I could move into this space. I could bust open that door, which would give me a through path. And then I could also uh, act in this space as a buffer against these specialists so that Hulk can get out of there. Go for oh, look it. At, look at Captain America sitting there defending his brain-eating zombie allies. <laughs> So I'm going to move one action here. I've got three actions left. I'm going to open up that door for a second action. Um, I lost. Um, and then... Uh, for... You don't have well, any ranged. I, I, actually, actually, what happens if you push people that are on a spawn point? You 
can only push them like you can't push them away because they're on the map, map edge okay well then he here's what i'm going to do and i'm not going to open up that door just yet i'm going to move one space here a second space here um wait, wait, before you do anything you, you do not want to end your turn on that space are we in the same place, i know sir? i'm going to do i'm okay. going to do one attack and then step back wait 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 wait. if you don't kill them all you're gonna have a hard time stepping back how how, how many will one of them block me each An additional action. enemy character requires in another action to walk away. Hmm. I understand the rules of the game. I just can't count from three to four. Uh... What's your shield do? How do you protect? Uh, he just, so I... He's a one-third chance of ignoring each wound. Of ignoring wounds. So I, I actually think I'm just going to come here. I am going to open that door. Um... Honestly, why don't you stay in the zone? Why don't you through? stay in the zone with Hulk and protect Hulk? No, I think you what you wanted me to, to to stop them. So even if you just end up where Wasp is, I think you're good. Okay, because well, then I'll just one, two, three, four. We have to end on the exit zone, right, Michael? We don't have to spend right. another action on exit. Because what happens is then Wasp can walk out, blast a few, and retreat, and that lowers how is the potential Hulk, impact. How is Hulk gonna survive? All if, no, Hulk if, 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 if you just move out here and attack these ones, and then uh, just walk oh, back. Oh, but then that's going to leave these guards over here for Iron Man. Correct. I was I was going over here. Then okay, Iron so, Man, we we can so, get perfect information. Iron Man can't stay here. Okay, so then you do that. Then Jerry, okay. you go deal with them, and I will just stay. No, no, don't stay there. Just walk. Continue walking in. I'll I'll, I'll be here, and I'll have them target me. They'll split up. Yeah, but two can come my way, and only one can go Hulk. No, Hulk's we have the way, possibility of winning next of of winning next turn if Shira takes yeah. out these runners. These ones. Yeah, the specialists. Well, specialists. no, because if if she he doesn't which take ones? out these guards, which ones? These arrows, the blue here, arrows or the green arrows? It won't matter because I have I have the specialist blast. I have my blast that can knock them out. The pulse. Oh, blast. okay. All right, all right. Well, then we work on these runner or these specialists, Shira, and then come back to this spot if you can. Yeah. Okay. So you're ending your turn in there. I'm ending in yeah. here. Yeah. Actually, before actually, you, actually, here. Wait, 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 wait. I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'll do a trait. Do you card. want to draw a trait, a trait before you had moved? Before you move, so it's your over here. You, yeah. Okay. Yes. This, All right. Yes, that's fine. Okay. Okay. And then, then I. Now you move. Rotten strength. Okay. All right. So I can move one. There's one action. I have ranged attack, so I don't even have to be in their zone. Um, I have one. It's only three dice. Can I increase anything? Well, you can use. Mm, that's devour. Discard target one's own range two. I gotcha now. I could discard the taunt. Um, they'll they'll just come into my zone, but that doesn't increase my hunger per se. I I would just try to see if <laughs> you can take them out and then just just take out a couple. <laughs> Okay, I'll shoot twice and then move back in, I guess. So yeah. with one, two, three dice, I will try and take out as many as I can. Nice. Okay. One. one. So one. And then dead. I also you increase hunger, which is going to make your next attack better. Yeah. Nice. So now you We're need one put that more dice. I, I just gave it back to you. I just raised okay. your experience by one. Thank two you. hits would work. Three there you hits. go. I awesome. Your dead. By two. And then you They're can all pop, pop and back in And then I move back in. Okay. Now we just got to hope we get okay on this activation Let's phase. Let's see what happens. In... Whew. Guard's coming to block the way. Yeah. He's That's, we can... down here. Move up closer to Hulk. Yep. Let's go some spawns spawning and see what we got. Orange. Spawning on orange. We have three specialists. Okay. See? Not so bad. So far, down over so, here, so far. we have four guards. Okay, and then our last activation down at the bottom that fun one. Oh. Ah, <laughs> we have specialist airdrop. No, oh. specialist oh. in every zone containing a hero. That's going to uh. postpone our yes, move. It's the one ending. thing that could have. 
Yeah. Oh, there were a couple of nasty things that could have shown up. Okay. Okay. We, All right, still, well, we, still, we can still do this. We can right. still do this. We'll Hulk and Iron Man, take care of your specialists and move towards the exit. We, we, have to, we have to do the order. Everyone raise your hunger by one. Oh, I'm at four. Okay. I need to devour. Iron Man has to devour. So do I. So does Iron Captain does America. Devour. Oh, sorry. Captain America has to devour. Yeah. Okay, so Captain America, if you have the least choice, do you want to start first? Devouring yeah, people? Yeah, I'll go first, so I'm going to devour. Um... Um, actually, one second. The only There's still an argument to be made that Iron Man should go first because of the Repulsor Blast. Yeah, okay, then then, okay. then you go first. You're going so to have to kill the guy first. in front of you as well. Yeah, I'm going to kill a guy in front of me using a basic move to zone, zone perform a devour action. No, I don't care about that. I'm going to go ahead and shoot the guy in my zone. That's my first action, so we're going to be rolling uh, what's called uh, two hunger and three. You know what? Maybe it's worth devouring because I'd rather not get stuck too much. I need to balance that. I'm going to go for a devour so I don't get stuck with some extra wounds from hunger. So we're going to go ahead and roll three dice at a four plus. And boom, there you go. he's gone. I go up in experience. And also, zero after completing any hunger. attack, I can perform a free move action ignoring enemies. So I think I will go ahead and go here. Nice. Um, You'll then, need that to get to the exit. Yep. Then I'm going to go ahead and Repulsor Blast, which is just going to be three dice on a four plus, which I will go ahead and do that. Okay. Uh, I don't kill them, but that wasn't my goal, so I don't care. They push back one zone. That's action two. Um, Wind down on her Legion of Guards. Action three is over here, <laughs> and action four is over here. I okay. love how the guy who caused <laughs> this is the first person to escape. Oh my whole I cleared the pathway. Was... Stop whining. Oh my goodness. Question. I know that Captain America has to devour, but if I would take out the two specialists in our zone, can he just walk to the exit? Yes, the only actions he can take are move and devour, but he has no obligation to force to go to like the nearest. He will just because... start suffering damage at the end of his activations. Hulk, does oh, Hulk have anything extra that can make him move faster? Hulk is the one that we need to get him moved. It doesn't look like it. No cards. Is okay. uh, uh but, Michael? I mean, worst case what, scenario. What, what, what is the frequency, Michael, of trait cards? How many of them are in the deck? Like, are there copies? There's three of each. Because the thing that we haven't drawn at all since the very beginning move is one. hunger sprint. Yep. So if he, I mean, risking it, that, it's two cards out of thirty-six. Yeah, I, I would. Know. But worst case scenario, if Captain America doesn't devour, he'll just take one wound. He's wait. Have we been reshuffling the used traits back in, or just adding them to the bottom? No, nope, they go to the side over here. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, I I, I still think it's worth the chance of trying to draw a trait just to see okay. if we. I don't could think auto can he draw a trait. He's. He's super hungry. No, you can't draw a he, trait. He's on three. I know, but he can't draw. We mean who? Who? who oh, Hulk? Hulk. Hulk is the one oh. person who can't auto help us win right now. Mm. Wait, what do you mean? How could uh, how could the other two get out? They can't get out. If I she can gets take, rid of him, I can take I can out. I have cards that give me extra moves. Oh, gotcha. And okay, I okay, can get out. Fine. I can take out the two okay. um, specialists. So, Move fine. three and then let, discard let me go that. First. So. Let, me, let me go for the Devin move. Although, here's the problem, Devin. Here's where we're potentially going to enter a concern, okay? If if I just play it safe, I can take this person out and then go one, two, three and end up over here. If I'm wrong, I have to stop there. Or that go a completely different direction. So how about that I don't true. do that? Okay. I have a question. Yes. Can we, at the end of this, pull the next trait card? Just to Absolutely. see if Devin could have ended it in a really cool cinematic way. <laughs> Absolutely. All of you guys, you don't want to do it. I'm going to yeah. go Now Alex wants devour. to play it safe. I'm going to oh, yeah, no. Play, uh, no, Hulk wants to play it safe. Iron Man's gone. Door basher right? Alex okay. is like, guys. I'm going to roll four gosh. dice. Four dice because I'm going to do a devour action on the guy in my zone. I'm going to four dice. And I get, boom. Okay, we're good to go. I get an experience nice. point. He's dead, and my hunger and resists to zero. Then I'm are... the remaining three actions going one, two, three, and hoping we get out okay. alive. Okay. Well, you're not going to will... get out alive. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> I 
I will take my action and I don't have to devour. So I'm going to use my sting, which is two dice plus three more dice. I'm going to roll five dice on the two specialists in my zone. Using an ability or are you not? No, I'll use the abilities after. Okay. I don't think there's anything that helps me with the attacking per se. Discard, target one zone. They all activate and to move. I don't want anyone else coming. Um, no, I don't think I want anything else right now. Um, so let me roll my five dice. Boom. Okay. I hit, hit on three hunger. pluses. So that's take one hunger. Spell. That's six. Um, and then now I will... There's no one to devour on my way, but can I still discard this? Can I discard this card to increase my hunger and move one zone, and then perform and one free? Can increase your hunger. my hunger. Mm. So, I mean, that doesn't really matter because we are any, anyway. Hulk is only here, so okay. if anything, you ending here is safer. It means we can distribute hits. And then I'll just on. take one. I'll take one wound for being ravenous. Yep. So one, two, three, ending here. Mm -hmm. Captain America, make it out alive. Uh, Captain America and Iron Man just always have that like rivalry. Captain you know, America where they start to like show each other up, and so it's just kind of one of those moments where he's just like he sees you know one, Tony Stark. Two, nope, nope, three, nope, 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 nope. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Captain America is gonna go here into this spot with all of these people, and he's gonna go on your left, um, and then he's going to perform a devour action. Um, with a full five dice. He's joking, right? Nope. You can only devour one. What I know. What are you doing? I know. You, um, you'll be stuck in the zone with them. No, I won't. What's happening? And then I'm going to roll. And I devour one of them for sure. And that gets me down to zero. And uh, gets me an experience. And now that I can do something oh. besides devour, I'm going to activate Thunderbolt yeah. Ross mm -hmm. and Shield yeah. Bass push all of these people um, nice. to this spawn point. Fine. And and on your left. left. Um, and, and then we're. And we're do you have done. more actions? Nope. I'm, I'm out. See, there's, two, there's three specialists there. Okay. Listen, I'm not one to talk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's the round. Let's go to move and spawn. Okay. So Al here being uh, being escorted, she is not moving, but she will spawn a specialist there. When they go. Uh, sorry, I mean a guard. Everything else here is moving. So these guards are sorry. These specialists are activating, moving in here and doing three attacks on Captain America. It's gonna be three right. shield blocks you're gonna need to attempt, or three wounds. Yep. Yep. I would attempt your shield blocks. Oh, I'm, I'm going to. I just need to see. Um, I need to get three dice separated out. Okay. Let's see how. Let's see how. Five stupid. pluses. Yep. Hmm. One. One. So One I of took them. Took two hits. But you increased hey, your hunger. That's less correct? than either of Alex's characters have taken. Hey, if we die because of Devin, that would be hilarious. <laughs> All right. We're going to spawn now. Okay. Uh, oh boy. If anyone gets fun. extra activations. All superheroes get an extra activation, but there there's none done. in play. None on board. A shame. Okay. Right. Next spawn point. We have four specialists showing up. It's okay, they're all down here. And then for our final spawn flip, let's see what we got. We have five specialists showing up. Hello specialist cluster there. Okay. All right. Those are guards. So on my oh. turn, I'll go first. I'm going to do my Thunderbolt Ross move to increase hunger to push all of these enemies away. Well, everyone remember that your hunger is increasing by one when you start. Up. Uh, mm -hmm. Mine can't uh, go up. Do I take the wound now or? At the end of your turn. The end of my turn. Perfect. Um, <clears throat> OK. Um, can, I, can I still use my trait card? You've got to devour I, first. If I go up to four, why does he have to devour? Because he's going to be maximum when his hunger increases, right, Devin? Yeah, I'm going to be at oh, four. Yeah, at the you're going to this round. But then I won't have enough, I don't think. Oh wait, yeah, because the thunderbolt thing doesn't cost anything. Um, the thunderbolt, you start. have to increase your hunger to do it, so you can't do it until yeah, you devour. So, yeah. So I, I, okay, I'm going to devour with a full five um, dice. Whoop. 
Nice. Okay, we got and one. Yep, so. exactly. All those shield thing. workers protect the that bystander. Yeah. And then I'm going to push all of them back with By my increasing Thunderball your hunger. cross move. Yep. And now my hunger, hunger zero, should be one now. One. And then I'm going to go one, two, three to the exit. Okay. I'm going to go one, two, and then just, I'll let you do it. Sure. Okay. I'll there. One, two. One. 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 Our brave heroes have unfortunately <laughs> fallen this day, and these zombies have escaped. <laughs> Easy. Wow. Congrats yeah, on completing so the tutorial mission of Marvel <laughs> Zombies. <laughs> so tutorial mission. That went, that went just as planned, I think. I think that worked out perfectly. Oh, my goodness. That was difficult. Oh, my goodness. That was fun. Alex, Alex overestimated Good. the degree just, to which... I just miscounted. I miscounted by <laughs> one. In my head, I was totally going to be one away. I'd done all the math except for the difference between three and four. That's the only thing I missed. <laughs> <laughs> what were you trying to count for four? I don't get it. So, so I think it's that I, I, I think what happened is I counted my actions as if I wasn't opening the door, and then I just mm. thought I had an extra action and forgot that I needed that action. So if it's, I, it's not that I, it's not that it, I couldn't it tell made you it three thrilling. And four, it's that I counted the last action twice. It, it made it thrilling. It was a good act. Spider-Man came out to save Aunt May. Um, you know. Thor and you know Black Panther, you know, tried to match wits with uh, Iron Man and uh, Hulk. I, like, it worked out. Oh, it was it great out. from a thematic stance. I just, I'm <laughs> not a huge fan of how badly I played that first turn. Oh. <laughs> I, I think keep the rest reminding of us you of very it every fans. single time we play. I will remind you of how epically awful that was. It's okay. This, this is, is great. the second so, game ever of Zombicide you've won, Shira. So, so it works. Michael, yeah. I just have to say. I was curious when doing research and trying to figure out how you all might approach this game, what you were going to do about the fact that, that zombies were, are, in the Marvel universe, sentient. Like, they have to manage their hunger. They have to deal with the fact that they are ravenous and controlled by some other immovable force, but they're also fully conscious and able to manipulate and control and make decisions and even work against their own better interests, which is clearly to consume everything. And you like this does that this plays in that ecosystem so well i love the hunger tracks i love the fact that there's a benefit to them but then you're also balancing the contrast of like you get too far up on that track you have no choice but to give in to your base instincts it's really smart it's really well done and i didn't know how you were going to do it it's this whole little balancing act for it so you yeah, know very happy that's playing out as well as this so yeah what do we think what do we think people so, Alex, why don't you go first? Because you've played two times now. Yeah. Uh, so this is this is this is fun. Don't uh, spoil I, anything. I'm not going don't to. I'm not going anything. to. Uh, this is this Marvel Marvel Zombies is a lot of fun. My biggest concern, my only real concern when I first heard about it, was the difficulty level. Uh, the general IP, you know, it's Marvel, and I like Marvel, and I like Zombicide. The combination there is great. Uh, then I watched the the come on live stream talking about the whole you know game differences, the differences that you guys are bringing to the table, and I was like, these sound fun. They actually make it sound that it's not just an iterative like here's a small change and here you go, here's Zombicide. These sound like very large game. Changes changing differences. Um, and then I had, I want to say two concerns actually, both aligned the same. One is general difficulty scaling, and then two is concentrated fire, which is a mechanic that I never loved in Zombicide and Vader. As far as those, concentrated fire doesn't really feel like concentrated fire there. It just feels like a different way that the toughness is handled, as opposed to just a cheap way of getting things you couldn't have gotten. And then as far as difficulty scaling, well, we barely came out alive. And this is an easier mission than potential ones out there. So uh, uh, for me, this is a knock and get out of the park. I love the characters. I love the the theme. I love the gameplay. I love the changes that make it feel truly different within the Zombicide franchise. Solid, solid all around for me. Awesome. Sure. Me next? Yeah. Not you, Devin? Sure, I can go. Um, I We can kind of sandwich the inexperienced one with the two people who have done a ton of Zombicide. So I, I was actually, the last time I played Zombicide, I played second edition. And I thought it was fine, um, but it wasn't something that I was really pulled into. Uh, kind of going along the lines of what Alex talked about, I didn't think it was very hard. Um, I didn't see a lot of complexity there, and I didn't see a lot of difficulty in you know making it out alive. I didn't jump into the campaign, but I wasn't as compelled. And this was a much different experience. I was 
I was very engaged the whole time. I, I loved the aspect. I loved the, the, the inverted um, process of playing zombified heroes who are consuming people. I think just thematically and mechanically that that's hilarious. Um, these characters that I've seen across the you know Marvel Universe for years, like over a decade, I have, was eating them physically uh, <laughs> to reduce my, my rampant zombie hunger. Um, and only then I was able to realign my focus on doing other bad things besides just devouring creatures. So uh, I thought that was awesome. I, I love the artwork. I mean, I think we talked about it during the game, but like Wasp and these characters, like the artwork is gorgeous, looks great. Um, and to me, this beginning mission was, I mean, I think someone probably made it harder than it could have been, but um, <laughs> it was, you know, it, it was very, it was very satisfying on a complexity level. I enjoyed it a lot. This, this has really pulled me in and makes me potentially want to jump in on this campaign, um, which I haven't felt that pull in previous Zombicides. So I very much was happy with it. This is very much just a taste of things to come as far as the scenarios and gameplay little tricks we'll see. Awesome. Awesome. That may, that just makes me more excited. Um, so I am very positive for the most part. There is one aspect that I am missing from Black Plague, and that is the powers and abilities and the choices that you get to make with different powers. Um, I love being able to choose as you level up with the experience. I like being able to choose between the two actions that you're getting, and I like the, um, the equipment deck a lot more than I liked the trait deck here. I did like how thematic it felt, and I loved the familiarity it was when I saw Aunt May come out and all these characters that I know from the Marvel Universe. It was so much fun seeing them come out and devouring them and fighting the superheroes. It was such a twist, and my mind is still trying to get the terminology right. It was a level of difficulty that I wanted it to be because we barely made it out, and that's kind of what I come to expect and want from a zombie side game but the powers and abilities is the one thing that i wish was a felt a little bit more cool i'm just super stoked i'm 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 stoked across the board and i can't wait to see what else you all have in store I, i'm actually i have a i have a question i desperately want to ask but i but i'm going to wait till we're not recording and see if you'll tell me when i'm not when i don't have you under the lens we'll see all secrets have their cost <laughs> <laughs> either way thank you so much for taking the time if you made it to the end of this video uh i mean you're amazing thank you for watching hit the subscribe button because we have more content coming out on marvel uh marvel zombies and uh yeah i, I gotta figure out i gotta figure out how to get something in person because this this is <laughs> epic this is too good all right guys have a good night thanks everyone so that was wild, right? I, I mean, I did think that Alex or Devin were going to mess it up along the way, but that was an absolute blast. I can't wait to show you everything else we have in store. So with that, thank you for watching. Make sure you're subscribed because there's more coming down the road.